Basil Georges. Basil, how are you tonight? I'm good, how are you? All good, all good. Um, how's the performance going so far? Yeah, it's been going really well, yeah. Um, it's been great out there, the audience is loving it, yeah, it's been really good. Now, can you expand on, like, what your role is tonight? Because we've seen you with uh, Matthew Boyce, who plays Don Price. Mm -hmm. um, you were with him a lot of the time. Yeah, so. yeah, I'm actually uh, Don Price's brother. I'm Zachy Price, so I'm his younger brother. And, uh, yeah, we do a lot of ventures. Uh, he's a bit... He's quite mean, Don is quite mean to mean to Zaki, you know. Yeah. It's, a, it's it's a it's a fun, it's a fun relationship, yeah. It's yeah. Really good play out. It always gets the audience laughing, yeah. I noticed that they were laughing a lot when you came onto the yeah, stage, yeah. and Don was like bullying you around a little bit. Yeah, no, no, it's really but, good. Uh, it's really good. I heard that Don, I heard that Don Price is really handsome, and that and that everyone in the play likes Don Price, and that Don Price doesn't have crippling social issues, and Don Don Price is the coolest character in the play. I'm here too. Zaki, no, I'm just kidding. In, in reality, though, Zaki is the best character in the play. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, 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 need a, I, need a, I need my brother, you know? I can't do anything family. Brother, exactly. Hello, Trinity community. We are joined by Matt Boyce, who plays the arch rival of the play, Don Price. Matt, how did it feel to, pu to punch another student in the stomach? It was, it was a pretty strange feeling. I'm, I'm glad to say uh, it's not a familiar feeling, but I reckon it pretty well summates my character of Don Price, you know? Brash, uh, logical, doesn't really think things through. But yeah, he's a fun character to play nonetheless. Hi. Hi. Ryan Whitford. Who plays? William Bloom. And? Mm. and? Tell me about your character. So, William Bloom is... He is the son of a father who Josh neglected him throughout his life. Not time. because... He had a secret second life, but because he was trying to give the best to his son, and his son is now going through a path of discovery to see what his father okay, actually did for him. Now I'm joined by uh, Peter from Year 10 at Meriden. Evening, yep. Peter. How are you? I'm good, you? Yeah, good, thanks. Tell us a little bit about your role in the play and uh, what obviously your role is and what sort of involvement you have with the production. Um, I'm Will's, well, wife, and I'm basically kind of a peacemaker between him and his father, um, and obviously pregnant. <laughs> Hello Trinity community, we are joined now by Rachel. Rachel, how are you tonight? Go on. Uh, pretty good. And what's your role in the play tonight? I'm an Alabama lamb. Can you uh, expand on what that means for the audience at home? So, I'm one of Sandra's friends and we audition for the circus, but unfortunately we don't get in. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen! Good evening ladies and gentlemen, we are joined now by Alexander Yee who has quite a convoluted role in the play. Alice, can you explain to us what your role is in the play? Uh, well, I actually have a myriad of roles, but the main one that I do is uh, Amos Calloway. He's the uh, ringleader of the circus. He's kind of like a discount Hugh Jackman, but uh, with a bit more persona and a bit more outrageousness. Yes. You are very confident out there, and not, not a lot of the boys at school are that confident. It's, some, it's a skill that uh, you have to build on as time goes on. Uh, what tips do you have for boys at home who are watching and want to get more confident? Yeah, just just have a go. Um, if you put 100% of your energy into it, then it's going to bring out your character um, so well and the audience is going to love it so much and then you kind of feed off of the audience as well. Um, yeah, I guess just um, forget everything about being nervous or anything like that and just give it, give it your all and you, you'll get all back. It's, it's, it's a great experience. Now I'm joined by Minty from Meriden, who has had a, a really big role in the play tonight. Evening, Minty, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. The first question I've got for you this evening, I've noticed you've had a lot of costume changes. <laughs> right from the start, you had a, a big role uh, in the opening couple of scenes of the play, but how have you dealt with those costume changes and how have you enjoyed that part of the experience? Uh, I'll just say it's not my favourite part of the show, but I've had like all the girls help me get changed and um, help with those quick changes. And, yeah. And how have you enjoyed the experience interacting with the Trinity boys throughout the play, throughout the, the practice and the whole process? What have you got out of that and how much have you enjoyed that? 
Oh, uh, well, yeah, working with the Trinity Boys is actually really fun because, like, I've only ever done, like, only girl productions and, like, all the guys, um, they're all just great people and I learn a lot from them. That's great, great to hear. And just one final question for you. How much did you enjoy the flash mob during cadets a couple of weeks back? <laughs> uh, it was quite a spectacle. I was on board watching it. I enjoyed it, but how was that experience for you and the rest of the cast? Uh, it was quite scary considering I was performing in front of most of the girls in my year. Um, that was, but it was a good experience. Like, um, I feel like we did really well. The, the music is quite different to what we usually play, so it's nice to be in sort of our little quartet and to be able to play the different types of music. It's very fun. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Josh Zekini. Josh, how are you today? I'm good, I'm very good, thank you. Can you give us a little uh, detail on what your role entails? Um, my role entails well, sorting out mics and being a helping hand to Miss Miss Sergi, who has a lot to do and little time to do it. And thoughts on tonight, just quickly? Thoughts on tonight, um, it was a, it's a very good show. Um, cast and all of the people involved, like Ms. Ms. Surgeon and uh, Mr. Dewey, they put a lot of work into this and I think this show represents the amount of work they put in. What's your favourite part of the show to light, mate? Um, the circus. Callaway Circus. The Callaway Circus. Your favourite part, Mr. Cotton? Oh, probably the, the swamp with the witch, I think. Okay. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. These are the lighting gurus. Favourite scene? Um, probably the witches scene. I really like the music for that one. What's your favourite scene that you enjoy watching? Probably the one with the giant. I think that's one. That one's really cool. With Carl the giant. You got a favourite scene in the show, Mr. Peterson? Ah. Uh, I actually really like the last scene where he's singing the Peter Gabriel song. I know that that's a that's a new addition to the show, but I think it's a really good new addition to the show. Brilliant song, well performed by the cast, brilliantly executed by the crew, mind you, but it's a real highlight for me. Love it. What's been the most enjoyable thing? Oh, listening to everyone do their songs, everyone's just giving it a go. It's, it's making it fun. Okay, and how do you reckon it's stretched you as a person? I like musicals. <laughs> like, I didn't think of musicals much before, but now I, I like them. Um, just seeing what the class is doing now, it's, it's good. When you do get into character with everyone else on the stage, there's just this fantastic atmosphere that just picks up like a second and like everything clicks and it's simply fantastic. Favourite part of the show, even though I could, should be a bit more confident at it, which is dance mainly because it's a really, really fun and immersive dance where you can all just let loose, express characters and terrorise them. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by Harry Jason and Chanel Shamoon. Guys, how are you going tonight? Good, yeah. So happy. It was good. We're really sad now, though, because yeah. the show's ended and we created such close bonds with all of the cast members, and it's really sad to have it over, but we're really excited that we got to participate in such an amazing journey, and we're really excited.
about tonight? Everyone's been saying that this has been the best performance so far. How do you guys feel about that? I'd say probably. The energy was really high tonight because we knew it would be our final performance. Yeah. And the audience gave us so much to work with, so it's worked really well. Mr. Daniels, the head of creative arts at Trinity Grammar School, is kind enough to have a couple of words with us after what was a spectacular final performance evening. Hey, Mr. Daniels, how are you, sir? Thanks, Piro. Thanks for cornering me. That's all right. We always need to corner you, sir. You know, you're one of the <laughs> crucial members of our creative arts uh, program here at Trinity. Support of the school has obviously been good for this one, but how have you felt that community engagement uh, from the school, from the students, from the staff, from the headmaster? He's been a big driving force behind this, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, it goes really, I, I think it's fantastic. We, our largest community, our broad community, always support these things. Even so, we had a father-son matinee because this is a story about the relationship between the father and the son. And so we thought we'd get all the fathers and sons who wanted to come. Uh, but the message was really good too and it started a lot of conversation. So the engagement that was happening is happening to make it happen but also the story was engaging the community yeah. in, a, in talking to each other. Ladies and gentlemen we're joined now by Mr Dewey, the director of Big Fish. Mr Dewey, how are you feeling tonight? A bit relieved, a bit sad, uh, very energised, yeah. um, feeling very positive. Yeah. Oh, I think you know you can't help but be stirred at yeah. the end of this. Um, just the way Harry performs it, and the ensemble, and the music, it's, it's, it's everything that's best about theatre comes together in that one moment. And uh, any take home messages from the play that you that you um, thought you should highlight tonight? Uh, look, I, I think the audience takes that home. I thought it was interesting what the headmaster wrote in the bulletin about it reflects upon you. I certainly reflected upon my relationship with my father. Yeah. Uh, we were close, but... Uh, he was from a generation where you never spoke much yeah. about your feelings and your experiences. Mm. Um, but And also you reflect as a parent yeah. as well. So, And I think when you've got something that involves your heart and your head and your laughing at, at things as well, yeah. uh, I, I think that's the most powerful lessons that you can take.